Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So, legacy automakers are fleeing from China to the US market, as they realize they have already lost the Chinese market to the Chinese and Tesla. And there are many factors that will make the landscape of the automotive industry look very different in only a few years from now. And yes, BYD will be one of the big boys in the world, but we are still waiting for them to get any meaningful sales numbers in Europe and find a way into the US market if possible. Because so far, BYD is only competition in China. So let's take a look at Tesla's dominance right now on a global scene, what big shift might be happening over the next few years in the global car market, and let's dive right in. So we know Tesla is doing great in Europe and the Model Y is the best selling car of any kind in Europe. But Tesla is growing insanely fast in Europe. There are actually many countries in Europe that have already beaten last year's sales numbers of Teslas. So in only 4 months, Tesla has sold more than what they did in the entire year of 2022. Like in my country of Denmark, we have already bought twice as many Teslas year to date in the first 4 months than what we bought in all of 2022. And there are already 7 countries that are over their units from 2022. It is going to be quite the record in Europe this year thanks to the Berlin factory. So Tesla continues to be the best selling EV brand, has the best selling EV model and is the best selling car of any kind in Europe. Tesla is quickly becoming a dominating player in the European car market. So even though we like to compare BYD and Tesla all the time because they are two of the biggest EV makers out there, BYD is only big in China and nowhere else just yet of course, but here in Europe they are just getting starting and are not even what I would call competition to Tesla, yet as Tesla has sold about 67 times more EVs than BYD in Europe year to date. The Model Y has sold more than 70,000 units in Europe so far this year, the BYD Han only about 112 units. Like I said in my video about it back in October of last year when it came to Europe, the car is priced way too high. I think we can see that being reflected right now in the sales numbers of this car. It's a nice car for sure, but it's not worth about $38,000 more than a Tesla Model 3. That is the current price difference between these two cars after Tesla's many price cuts. BYD's Auto 3 is better priced and have sold about a thousand units so far this year, but still not really competition. So yes, in China the race is on and BYD is the leader, but in Europe and the US for that matter, they are not really competition just yet. But let's see how fast they can get to volume sales in Europe. I think the Dolphin will help very much with that, because if BYD doesn't want to lower the price of the Han quite significantly here in Europe, I just don't see it catching on. Way too expensive for what you get. So I think BYD need the more affordable models like the Auto 3 or even the cheaper Dolphin to really get some traction here in Europe. But we do have 10 Chinese brands coming to Europe this year. So there will for sure happen a lot to this market this year and especially in 2024 as the Chinese get to volume production for the European market. But in the US it will be very different because of the IRA that has made it almost impossible for the Chinese to come into the market. And that is also why I think we are seeing some of the European automakers starting to focus much more on the US market than the Chinese market. Because I think they kind of know that they have already lost the Chinese market to the Chinese and 
Tesla. As we saw with Volkswagen that was down in BEV sales in Q1 in China with about 38% in a market that was growing rapidly. And after they saw all the new Chinese electric cars coming to market at the Shanghai Auto Show, I think they kind of saw the writing on the wall. We also know that the new energy vehicles in China will probably already be something like 40% this year. And remember, the CEO of Li Auto is predicting that new energy vehicles, remember that also includes plug-in hybrids, but still, he thinks that the new energy vehicle penetration will be about 80% by 2025. So if the legacy automakers know they have no chance of getting to 80% plug-in share of their production in 2025, they know the race is already over. Especially when the EVs they do make is not high-tech enough for the tech-savvy Chinese people. And you are actually down in EV sales in Q1 of 2023. Yes, the writing is on the wall in big, bold, neon signs. So that is why I think the European automakers kind of sees the US as a safe haven from the Chinese automakers because of the IRA. So that is why I think someone like Volkswagen wants to make battery plants over there before Europe as they originally planned, because that is kind of what they have been warning the European Union about and also do so to try to get some market share in the US that is not that far along in the EV adoption just yet. And we did see Volkswagen grow very nicely in the US market with the BEV sales in Q1. So the US might become a very important market for the European automakers. As they have seen, they are losing China altogether. So now they will try to hold on to the European market the best they can, even with all the Chinese EVs coming to market, and then try to get a bigger piece of the pie in the US market as the EV adoption is not much further along than what the European automakers are in EV production, about 7%. And GM and Ford are truly struggling big time getting to volume production of their EVs. So this will help the European automakers to get some traction in the US. And the Japanese have hardly started the EV race, so here is a chance for the European automakers to shift their focus from China to the US to gain new market share over there. But I think this will not be very good for the Japanese automakers, as their biggest market is China and the US, and they are about to lose ground in both these areas and of course also in the European market as well, as Europe and China are moving so fast to EVs that in only a couple of years from now there will be about 50% BEV sales in these two markets and that is about 60% of the entire car market combined. So Toyota and the other Japanese automakers will no doubt be losing ground pretty much in all markets, as they are not making the product that people want in Europe and China, and might be facing more fierce competition in the US very soon, as the European automakers will try to find new ground after losing China. So we might see the Chinese market pretty much be dominating by only the Chinese and Tesla, and very little, if any, of the legacy automakers left by the end of this decade. And in the US, we might not see the dominance of the Chinese because of the laws the US government has set in place. But we might see the European automakers coming, trying to push out the Japanese from the US market. And Europe will truly become the battleground for every automaker trying to get some foothold. So I think the biggest losers are going to be the Japanese. Toyota will become the Nokia of the auto industry. But one that is dominating in all three major markets, China, Europe, and the US, which is about 80% of the entire car market, is of course Tesla. They had the best-selling car of any kind in Europe in Q1, the best-selling car of any kind in China in Q1, and if we take out pickup trucks, they also had the best-selling passenger car of any kind in the US. Tesla is not just the biggest EV manufacturer in the world. They are quickly becoming a very big player in the overall car market and has already positioned themselves very, very well in both China, Europe and the US. 
and Tesla is controlling the price levels of EVs as they are still the only one making real profits on EVs. BYD and a couple of other Chinese might be earning a little bit of profits on their EV sales in China, but other than that, Tesla is holding all the cards and are dictating the prices. Remember, Tesla is still sitting on something like maybe 90% of all profits made in the BEV world. That gives Tesla tremendous power. So while we watch all the others get some traction in Europe or change their market, Tesla is already well positioned. They just need to grow. So yes, growth over profit through this recession, because that would only make Tesla come out on the other side bigger and stronger than ever. While the others might have been badly wounded in a recession, and if they even come out on the other side, they might be weaker than they have ever been before. But we will see what will happen. But I think Tesla is setting themselves up nicely to become the biggest player in the car market and everyone else still have to prove themselves on a global scale. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice. <laughs>